Yo, yo, what's going on, man? What's happening? Uh, just wanted to uh, make another video. I uh, just want to thank everybody for, you know, looking at my videos and this one. Um, I want to talk about um, the uh, um, the Lions, the couple of things that the Lions have just been, uh, that just happened for them. Um uh, one, uh, the first thing is they're going to have hard knocks this season with the Detroit Lions. I can't wait, man. I am excited about that. I am totally excited about that. Uh, being a season ticket holder with the Lions, I will probably be going to some of these practices, um, depending on, you know, how my knee is and stuff like that. Hopefully my knee is, is going to be you know, better by then. But uh, I'm excited about this, man. And a lot of these practices I am going to hopefully maybe go to. I might go to a couple. Like I said, depending on my knee. Uh, probably won't go to the morning practices because they might because it's probably going to be around uh, when I work. So probably can't do that. Um, but if they have any, like, Later afternoon ones and stuff. I know they had one. I had a couple of them last year. Uh, but uh, I'm really looking forward to those. Uh, looking forward to it this year. Um, the practices, how Dan Campbell is going to be, the coaching staff, and to see how it, how the Lions are. I knew it was eventually coming because they pretty much did a hard knocks with every damn team. Probably but the Lions are probably a couple other teams. But I knew it was coming. Um, you know, when, when we found out Dan Campbell, which I, I like Dan Campbell. He's a, you know, I like his tough-minded coaching. You know, he took it upon himself to coach the offense. What uh, Anthony Lynn didn't do. Unfortunately, Lynn is gone. So he took it upon himself to do the offensive plays. And the Lions actually got better. With him doing a play call. And he mixed it up. He went for some fourth down plays. And I thought, you know, it was very, it, it was very interesting. It was very interesting. Um, I like the direction of this team. Um, I don't know about the quarterback. I'm still a little iffy on golf if he's the right guy. He, golf sold some glimpse. Uh, that Arizona game, I think, was... Uh, <clears throat> probably his best game as a lion. He did he did well against the Rams too, against Stafford. Uh, a couple games and stuff. I was like, okay, this is some glimpse of what he can be and stuff. So is there? Um, I still think they should draft a quarterback. They definitely need to get better defensively, um, especially in the front four. Um. Getting Hutchinson or Thibodeau is going to help. Uh, hope, I wish, and probably getting uh, David Ajabu from Michigan, too. If you can get Hutchinson and Ajabu, that would be great. That would be great. Got them two end rushers on the left and the right side with uh, Akeem McNeil and, you know, with Tracy Walker and uh, – uh, a Louvrier, and depending on how Akuda is going to be, uh, during the end of the season, their defense wasn't that bad. You know what I'm saying? Warrior is probably go is probably our best corner. Um, I think they have to go defense a lot this a lot in the draft. Um, I think they should. Um, I think them getting Chark was a nice signing. With Amon St. Brown and Raymond and uh, Josh Reynolds and all them. And then, you know, with Swift and see what they do there. I don't know if Jamal Williams is still with the team. If he is, then that's, you know, good as well. But uh, it's all depending on what golf is going to do with this offense. Um, I don't have any trust in these forwards, man. I just don't. You see Stafford leave and win a, a – a Super Bowl. 
So it tells you that the guy, you can't put most of the blame on Stafford. It's the, it's the Fords, man. So hopefully this draft will get better. I got trust in Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell. I love that Hard Knocks is going to be here, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, Re-upping on my Lions tickets and my Piston tickets as well. So can't wait for next season. I really can't wait. I'm... Hoping to go to every game. Hopefully. That's the plan. And the other news is that the Lions for field is going to host the NFL draft in the 2024. 2024 is going to be in Detroit. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm definitely going. Uh, it is going to be exciting. It's going to be something, uh, how they're going to do the city within the next couple years. Uh, I'm hoping they have some all-star games, another Super Bowl here. It would be exciting. Um, it just tells me that they're, the city is, is, is coming back, man. It's coming back. I'm always had love for my city, man. I'm always had love for my, for the teams here. I'm diehard fans here. Uh all day, all day. Sometimes you might see me in other teams wear or players and stuff like that, but I'm I'm a I'm a Detroit fan through thick and through thick and thin. Always. But them having a draft here is huge. It is great. Um when they I, I, I had a feeling it was gonna eventually be here after they had it last year. I think it was in Cleveland. So a lot of times when they have stuff in the Midwest, especially in Cleveland, eventually it's going to come in, in Detroit, I think. And, and then also with the NBA All-Star game being in Cleveland, I know eventually we're going to have an NBA All-Star game here, hopefully. Uh, it would be nice. We got the we definitely have the arena to do it. Uh, it should be something. Uh, but the draft, I'm definitely going to go to this. No question up my mind. I'm going to this. It's going to be one these next couple years is going to be something for the Lions. Hopefully. Coaches staff. They um hopefully they just go up and up. Um and I have faith in them. Definitely go definitely got a couple of Lion jerseys I want to get, man. I definitely, definitely St. Brown. Definitely want to get that. And I might want to get that Penny Sue, man. Or probably whoever we draft, I might get me that. Um, if it's Hutchinson, if it's Thibodeau. Um, I know some people say you should draft Malik Willis. Um, we'll see. Um, I would have... I know some people say sign Antonio Brown. I wouldn't mind Antonio Brown being here. I wouldn't have, I wish we could have went after Julio Jones. That would have that that's the receiver we need. We need a dog receiver like that. You know, I knew I knew Devontae Adams wasn't gonna come here. So but um it's gonna be interesting to see what this team do or can St. Brown have a good season, second you know, in the second year, do teams know him enough to figure out his game? Um, how kind of season uh, Jared Goff is going to have? Is it going to be better? Is he going to be the same Jared Goff that throws these ridiculous ridiculous passes? Um, what kind, can Swift stay healthy? What will Hawkinson do? Is he going to have a good year? Is Penny Sewell, that dog offensive lineman, that's good. Him and Taylor Decker and a lot of these guys. Let's see. Is Can, can Okuda stay healthy for this season and not be hurt like his first two years? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Tracy Walker. Uh, Alizoni. A lot of these... Uh, Linebackers, I see the front seven. How's it gonna be? Um, need to know, but I think these two things that the Lions, uh, that Detroit has the 
the um, the draft and hard knocks, I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be absolutely wonderful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm for it. I'm going to go to these things um, just to see how we're. I'm going to check every episode on there most definitely. I'm definitely going to do that. So we're just going to see how this is. Um, can the Lions be a surprise team this year? How's the coaching staff? Um, hopefully they can make a playoffs. Um, I don't think they are. I think they're still growing. They still need a, a receivers. They still, you know, iffy on defense, man. They don't have a defense. Um, we'll see. And they need to have their own identity. I'm tired of them being like certain teams, like the Patriots, the Rams. This team, 49ers, this team. It's like have your own identity type of team. Have your own identity offense, defense, special teams. Do that. But I'm a, I'm, I'm a fan throughout everything, through the wins, the losses, the mess-ups, the whatever the fours do with their screw-ups. I'm still a fan of this team. I don't want them to lead Detroit. This is a... a uh, a standard city. Um, I want it to be glory. I want you know the championships, the playoffs. Whenever there's playoffs here, it is exciting. I still I remember uh, Pistons with Gr Blake Griffin. The place went absolutely nuts. Nuts. It went insane. Um, some of these games, if some of these line games, even line playoff games, these things when they went to the playoffs, uh, you see them even away or at home. It's it's an intensity. It's it's nothing like a playoff intensity. It's nothing like a playoff atmosphere. It's incredible. It's insane. But hopefully, we get to that point. We got. We got a we got young teams here in this city, and um, with all four teams, and uh, hopefully we get back to glory. Got faith in them. Uh, with that being said, man, tell me what y'all thoughts are. Tell me how y'all feel about having a draft here, having hard knocks. What kind of season the Lions is gonna have? You know stuff like that. But you know, into the, in the meantime. I'll let y'all, man. Peace out.